Hey guys, my name is Blair, and this is my first Let's Play. It's of Ocarina of Time, which is possibly the most overdone Let's Play you could possibly think of, but um, I have a lot of fun with it. I remember it capturing my, capturing my imagination as a kid, and I figured I'd just record a really quick video um, as like a serious introduction just to explain um, who I am and how I am doing this. Um, I think the first thing that you're probably going to notice when you watch it is that it's a post commentary. It's not a live commentary. I'm not actually recording the um, footage of my voice um, while I'm playing the game. And there's a good explanation for that. And that's because I had a lot of trouble doing a live commentary of Zelda. I had a really tough time. Um, mainly because I found it very difficult to react to what was happening on the screen and there was a lot of pauses and it didn't sound like I was very comfortable, I was very nervous and I talked very quickly so I think if I split up the tasks and I do all the video game recording and then you know edit it all together with all the jump cutting and, this, and the speeding up of the footage to you know skip past fast forwarding, that's, that's the concept and then record my voice over the top of it and have multiple takes and try um, to nail it, really nail it down, I think it might be more interesting a few forum threads that I've read have really played up the virtues of post commentaries. Um, not many people that I've watched on YouTube actually do post commentaries. I know the vast majority of the biggest Let's Players don't do um, post commentaries at all. Although they do, you know, will, they will add in a little bits of po you know voice in posts just to explain where they went wrong or what kind of mistakes they made or if they had any hardware troubles. Um, speaking of, I did have a lot of hardware troubles getting things set up. I use a Blue Yeti microphone and I think the preamp in the microphone is not very good because it seems to be picking up a lot of RF interference um, through long USB cables and so when I was doing my Let's Play the first time, the Zelda Let's Play the first time, I didn't get very far. I think I got maybe to Hyrule Castle the first time and that was about it. Um, I had a lot of trouble um, and I needed to have like a 15 centimeter uh, USB cable to my laptop because I, I now have a PC that I'm editing everything on a much more powerful PC and I could do that with my laptop and that would get rid of the RF inter uh, interference the main problem I have now is that the microphone won't plug into you know the computer and, and stretch very far you know it'll just it'll, it has to come out the back panel of my PC and obviously that's right next to the fan so obviously that, that's not going to work so I still have a little bit of RF interference with my microphone and you probably will hear it if you have a keen ear but I'm hoping that a lot of the filtering techniques and the USB hub that I'm using will sort the problem out. Um, I think it's also probably worth explaining that I'm not very good at the game. You're going to see me make a lot of mistakes and it's only because I go after literally all of the heart pieces in Ocarina that you know I get out of trouble most of the time. So by the time I get to the third dungeon um, I have almost a full row, or virtually a full row, of um, hearts, and this is probably revealing another uh, important thing about the game, is that I'm trying to record as much of it as I possibly can, as quickly as I can, that, that being the, the, the game footage, not the video, not the audio footage, sorry, because I'm a PhD student, and um, I don't have a lot of time. I'm going to have about three months worth of spare time coming up, which is probably more than anyone could ever hope for if they're working full time, but I have to study at the same time and I have to edit, and I'm probably going to get a few um, professional journal publications done in that time, maybe. But um, I'm just moving out of a big writing phase, so hopefully things will go well. I have a lot of experience vlogging. Um, I have a vlog channel where I've been vlogging for more than 500 days. I think it might be coming up to like 5.50 now, 5.60, something like that. So I've done a whole year already. I haven't had a lot of success on that channel. Um, not that I really want success. I think that would really make me paranoid. But, you know, I was looking to like start a community or, you know, join a community or find some friends. And I did find some friends to a certain extent. Um, and I did find some good um, philosophy friends. I'm a philosophy student, I'm a PhD um, student in philosophy, so yeah. Um, I think post commentaries will help me out a lot of the time, or help me out with this project, and then maybe I'll graduate into live commentary, but all I've got is the game footage at the moment. I've probably got about 10, 20 hours of game footage that I need to go through and um, sort out, but 
see how it goes. I just wanted to introduce myself. Um, I chose this particular park to do it in. I don't normally vlog in this park, although I did quite a bit last year in November. But I, um, maybe I should show you this again. Yeah, I chose this park because it's a little bit like Hyrule Field, um, I guess. I really, I really was quite stunned at how well the game holds up generally, but I, I figured I'd record in some surrounds that um, echoed the game, even though it is quite dark at the moment. But I guess there's a there's a time meter in um, Ocarina of Time anyway. You know, there's, there's in-game time. You know, the the sun sets and the moon rises. But anyway, I'll leave it here. I'll uh, hope you. I'm used to saying I'll see you guys tomorrow because that's what I say on my vlog channel, but uh, hopefully you enjoy this uh, Let's Play. Um, probably not many, peop no, not many people are actually going to watch it, but I wanted to give this a good crack. Alright, I'll um, see you guys in the game.